homework on graphing tonight, but next time you will. Um, so what I want to do, ladies and gentlemen, is show you how to solve this absolute value equation. And we're solving an absolute value equation. We basically, to get rid of the absolute value equation, we want to set up our two cases. Um, so in setting up two cases, basically what we want to do is look at the positive value and the negative value of um, our absolute value equation. So to do that, we're going to set up, say, well, let's eliminate and let's just pretend that the value inside my absolute value made positive. And then let's pretend, well, what if that exact same value was negative? All right, what could our two values be? So now I'm simply just going to solve for x. So I subtract 3, subtract 3. 2y is equal to 8, divide by 2, divide by 2, y equals 4. Then I can also say uh, subtract 3, subtract 3. Let's say 2y is equal to a negative 14, divide by 2, divide by 2, y equals negative 7. So therefore, I have two, two solutions, right? One solution um, could produce the positive value, or the other solution could produce the negative value. So we want to make sure we plug them back into our equation to make sure they're going to be true. So if I plug 4 in for y, I have 2 times 4, which is 8. 8 plus 3 is positive 11. Absolute value of 11 is 11. So this solution works. Then I go with negative 7. 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. Plus 3 would be negative 11. Absolute value of negative 11 equals positive 11. So this is a solution as well. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve your absolute value equation, uh, creating two cases. Thanks.